Hi, I'm Brent Blackburn, your Director of Golf here at Jell Creek Country Club. Today, we're going to talk about gapping with your wedges. Now, for me, on my pitching wedge, it's 45 degrees and I hit it roughly 125 yards. Then I go to what I call a gap wedge, which is about 50 degrees. I hit it about 115. Then I have my 54 degree, which is at 100. And then I've got my most lofted at 58 and I hit it roughly uh, 85 yards. So as you go through, when you're out playing and you've hit that big drive and you get it within, you know, 100 to 75 yards, do you have your wedges gapped out to where you can take advantage of that drive? There's too many times that I see players have their wedges and they're too close. They'll have a 50 and a 52, or they'll have a 54 and a 56. They, they're not taking advantage of their gaps and their wedges. If you need help with the gaps in your wedges, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Brent Blackburn at Gentle Creek Country Club.